Assalamu alaikum, ya Ali Madad. Tonight is our weekly Tuesday night program. Tonight will be my fifth lecture of the series of companions of Imam Ali alayhi salam. Today we will talk about a very famous companion of Imam Ali, whose name is Muhammad ibn Abi Bakr. Muhammad ibn Abi Bakr. He was actually the son of the first caliph and Asma binti Umayyas. But after the demise of Abu Bakr, his mother married Imam Ali alayhi salam and then Muhammad was raised in the Imam's household. The Imam actually loved him and regarded him as his own son. Muhammad ibn Abi Bakr was born during the time when the Prophet was doing his last Hajj when the Prophet was on his way to Mecca from his last Hajj. His father Abu Bakr as we all know was the first Sunni cal Caliph after the Prophet. He passed away when Muhammad was only two years old and a couple of months. His mother, Asma binti Umayyas, after the demise of Abu Bakr, married Imam Ali alayhi salam. Asma married Imam Ali, and then Muhammad came to live with Imam Ali, and he was raised by Imam Ali as well. Muhammad was extremely and closely attached to Imam Ali's lifestyle and character, which made him love Imam Ali extremely. The Imam also loved Muhammad very, very well. And he would call Muhammad his own son. He would call him as my son. If we read Nahaj al Balagha, it is reported that Imam Ali said, He was my friend and I raised him like my own son. That is how much Imam Ali loved Muhammad ibn Abi Bakr. Muhammad was present in the Battle of Jamal. As the battle was about to start, the Imam appointed Muhammad as the commander of the infantry. It is a position in the army known as the left wing of the army. As I have mentioned, in an army we have the captain. If something happened to the captain, the right side comes. And if something happens to the right side, the left side is in control. And Muhammad was appointed as the left side. We know that Maliki Ashtar was appointed as the right side in some battles. Anyways, let's continue. He was commanded and appointed as the captain of the left side of the army. During the battle, Muhammad showed extreme bravery and he was not afraid of anything. Muhammad showed extreme bravery. When the battle was over, he actually treated the defeated army with kindness. He was nice to the defeated army. And with the command of Imam Ali, he respectfully took his sister Aisha in the company of the 40 Basran women to Mecca and from there they went to Medina. Also, we need to understand that he was also present in the Battle of Siffi. Although Muhammad had been appointed by Imam Ali as the governor of Egypt before the Battle of Siffi, evidence shows that Muhammad participated in the battle against Muawiyah. Even though Imam Ali had appointed Muhammad as the governor of Egypt, we do have some evidence that Muhammad participated in the Battle of Siffi against Muawiyah. In a hadith from Imam al Sadiq, alayhi salam, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. It is reported that in the battle of Safin, five men from the tribe of Quraysh accompanied Imam Ali in the battle. And one of these five men was Muhammad ibn Abi Bakr. According to some other reports, Muhammad was appointed by the Imam as the commander of the left side of the army. In the battle of Safin, Malik Ashtar was appointed as the right side of the army and Muhammad was appointed as the left side of the army, which means if something happens to the captain, the right side of the army takes control. If the right side of the army cannot take control, the left side is now responsible for the army. Muhammad was killed by Amr ibn As by the command of Muawiyah. Amr's soldiers were ordered to capture him, kill him, or bring him alive to Muawiyah in Damascus all the way from Egypt. By the order of Muawiyah, listen carefully. Muawiyah gave the order to Muawiyah ibn Hudaj. These are two different people. Muawiyah ordered Muawiyah ibn Hudaj to arrest him and kill him. Muawiyah ordered Muawiyah ibn Hudaj, I want you to arrest Muhammad ibn Abi Bakr. I want you to kill him. Muawiyah ibn Hudaj was so incensed, he was so mad. That when he began killing Muhammad ibn Abi Bakr, you will not believe what he did. He took 
he took the skin out of a dead donkey and burned boar corpse together. He opened the skin of the donkey and he put Muhammad ibn Abi Bakr inside and he burned it. He was so mad. He was such a mad person that he had the audacity to do this. He cut the skin of the donkey and then he put Muawiyah inside. And then, then he put Muhammad ibn Abi Bakr inside and then he burned Muhammad ibn Abi Bakr and the donkey. So, why did he do that? Because he wanted nothing to survive of his enemy. He had hate for Muhammad ibn Abi Bakr, his enemy. That's why he did such a cruel act. But Shia historians, some Shia historians prove that Muawiyah was the first Muawiyah, who later became the first Umayyad Caliph, was the actual killer of Muhammad ibn Abi Bakr. Because they say that Muawiyah had ordered to kill Muhammad ibn Abi Bakr and burn him with the donkey. Some people say it was Muawiyah's plan, but some people say no, it was actually Muawiyah ibn Hudayj who decided to do this. But some Shia sources say that Muawiyah commanded Muawiyah ibn Hudayj, not only do you kill him, skin a donkey, put him inside and burn him. When the news of the martyrdom reached to Imam Ali, the Imam wept, which means he cried and said he was a right is servant for Allah and the best and the right is son for us. It is also reported that after Muhammad's martyrdom, his sister Aisha would constantly curse Muawiyah in every namaz. Muhammad's mother, which I said before was Asma, is reported to have died as a result of the grieving from her son's martyrdom. According to the majority of opinions, a daughter of Yazdijard, if you don't know who Yazdijard is, he was the last Sasanian king, the last Sasanian king, was Muhammad's wife. The, a daughter of Yazdijard, whose name was Gehenbanu, was Muhammad's wife, and the other daughter was Imam Hussein's wife, and her name was Bibi Shehrbanu. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. We know that one of the children of Muhammad was Qasim, a jurist, a scholar, a very intelligent person of Medina, who was one of the close companions of Imam Sadiq salam, and Imam Bakir salam. He was a close companion of our fifth and sixth Imam. Qasim had a daughter called Umm Farba who married Imam Muhammad al-Bakir and he, she became the mother of Imam Sadiq salam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. So, this concludes our Tuesday night lecture about Muhammad ibn Abi Bakr. And next week, we will talk about another important companion of Imam Ali. Please make sure to watch these lectures with your friends and family and to share them and to join in big numbers.